Hey there, Baltimore Ravens fans. Tom Downey here. We're going to break down the recent roster cuts by the Ravens, but first, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers here. Help us get there. I know that there's going to be at least 40 of you watching this video who are not subscribed. Let's get to 1,000 views or 1,000 subscribers. That way we can do more videos for you guys. If you haven't already, simply hit that big red button and join us here for more Ravens videos this preseason and in the actual regular season. First, the explanation as to why the Ravens made these five roster cuts. First up, the 85-man roster deadline is today, August 17th. Now, the Ravens got a bit of a jump start. That's fine. August 24th, 80-man roster cut down day. So we'll do a video on that as well. And then finally, the 53-man roster, at least the initial one, is due August 31st. So these cuts are just the beginning for the Ravens. First up, outside linebacker, Aaron Adoy. Now, this is not a big surprise for the Ravens, given what they have at the position. He's bounced around the NFL, Aaron has, for quite a while. He's 27 years old, has seemingly only been really a more of a preseason training camp body type of guy. It's not a surprise that the Ravens released one of their edges. And this is the one that made the most sense, right? Pernell McPhee, Tyus Bowser, Justin Houston, Odafe Owe, Jalen Ferguson, and Dalen Hayes. Excuse me, that's uh, also special teams gunner Odafe Owe, which is just so much fun. Those are six players who I wouldn't be surprised if they made the 53-man roster. So releasing the seventh best by a pretty big margin made a lot of sense for Baltimore. Next up is Devontae Harris, the cornerback. He was released by the Baltimore Ravens. This one is a little bit interesting. We'll get into why later on. But he has played some in the NFL. I wonder if the Ravens at least tried to call around about maybe finding a trade partner since he does have NFL experience. Played some last year, 14 tackles, one pass breakup. But the cornerback room for the Ravens entering roster cutdown day, or at least the first roster cutdown day, was pretty deep. Now it's a little bit thinner as we'll get into. Next up, tight end Eli Wolf, the uh, you know, recent young player who was sucked behind a pretty solid depth chart at tight end. You know, Wolf played most recently at Georgia. He's still only 24 years old. I know some Ravens fans had some potentially high hopes for him. Not going to work out, though, in the end for Baltimore. The release of Wolf indicates to me, by the way, they feel pretty good about where Nick Boyle is. Obviously, Mark Andrews is a star. Nick Boyle's tight end, too. He is still on the pup as he is as, as we film this, and that could change in the near future. But with only Josh Oliver, Eric Tomlinson, and Tony Poljan on the roster at tight end, the releasing of Wolf indicates to me they feel good about those other guys and where Nick Boyle will be at his recovery come, you know, actual regular season. Finally, the two players who were put on injured reserve. Amon Marshall, who I like quite a bit, the former USC corner, unfortunately, has battled some injuries in recent years. Hasn't quite been able to make the impact. I think everyone wants him to. Good size, 6'1", 210. This is very much an injured reserve stash. We'll get to why here in a second. But the Ravens also put Khalil Dorsey on IR. Now, putting a player on IR before they make it through 53-man roster cut down means that their season is over. They cannot play at all this year. They are done unless they were to get like released from injured reserve, which the Ravens aren't going to do. Dorsey did play last year, two tackles. He is a nickel corner type of player there in the end. But between the release of Devonta Harris, between Dorsey and Marshall going on IR, all of a sudden the uh, the Ravens cornerback room looks pretty clear. You got Marlon Humphrey, who's a bit banged up right now, but that's not a huge concern as we sit. He'll be fine. Marcus Peters, a great playmaker. Hopefully, you know, Tavon Young ends up finally being healthy. We know how many issues he's had uh, in, in recent years in terms of being able to, to stay healthy and, and be the true nickel. He's missed the past two years. Hopefully, he's good to go. Jimmy Smith's a great backup despite being older. I like Anthony Averett. Sean Wade could be a nice number five, number six corner early on, but he needs some time to develop. We'll see about Chris Westry, the big, lanky, and fast corner who... Didn't develop that well with the Cowboys, but Marshall and Dorsey now on IR. But those two going on IR 
make an intriguing battle for what might be one last cornerback spot between Westry, Averett, and Sean Waite. So which roster cut surprised you guys the most? I think I'm going to go with Devontae Harris, but I don't know if there's a wrong answer here or maybe even a right one necessarily. Not the biggest surprises either way. So get your votes in for me right now in the comments section.